Hello! <laughs> That's the way we always start everything, just say hello. We are going live tonight from Micanopy, Florida, and this is my buddy, one of my closest friends, Mr. Jace, what's your last name? Harold. <laughs> Can you play that song? I don't know if we could do that or wait on the drummer for that one. Do you want to? I already started. You already did? Okay, let's do it. Oh, man. I like that. So we need feedback from you guys tonight to see if you can hear it and how it sounds. Listen to this. Mount Paul, Mount got no we're all playing the same game We're all looking for redemption Just afraid to say his name So called him now in protection What we're seeking is his truth I'm just looking for happy ending. Lord, all I'm looking for is you. Lord, you can hold me way more away. You're the reason I'm still here. And by the one you were sent to save. Lord, you can hold me way more away. Listen, I wandered out into the water. That's how I feel right now. And I thought that I might drown. I don't know what I was after. Just know I was going down. Yeah, but that's when he found me. I'm not afraid anymore. Say, you know, I always had you, Johnny. I was just waiting for you to find what you were looking for. Oh, you can't find me one more way. You're the reason I'm still here. Just want you to think about that right now. Just keep playing that. Just came upon me way long way. Just keep coming on. Your presence is only way more. Your glory is only way more. I'm so grateful for you, way more. The blood was spilled for us, way more. So thankful for you, Father, way more. Just worship you, Father, way song kind of for my dad. So. As we sat on the front porch that old gray house where I was born and raised. Staring at the dusty fields where my Betty worked hard every day. Sat there silent, staring at his favorite coffee cup. I saw a storm of mixed emotions in his eyes when he looked up. He said, Son, I know at your age, seems like the slow world is turning slow. And you think you'll find the answers to it all Where corn don't grow oh. hey. Yeah, the hard times are real That empty feels no matter where you go And you may change your mind Cause 
the weeds are high, we're called on the road. Hey!
never give that old devil not even an inch to get in. I do worship and praise. Let everybody know just where that I stand. And on the back of my 1972 Ford pickup truck is a cross and a fist for the world. Except for, at least when I, when I was in the room, I only heard one thing before she passed away, and that was, uh, if my boy would only do what he's put on this earth to do. And no, I think that's profound. If my boy would only do what God put him on this earth to do. Why would she say that? Well, see, it's so profound because I don't think that many people believe that part of destiny. I don't think that people... Here's the thing, I, and I say this as a fact, and with, with no repercussions whatsoever. Gail and I have talked about this before many times. God intentionally, purposefully put his breath in you yeah. right now. He saw all this coming and he chose you and chose me and chose these two and chose my wife and chose these others out here, the few that are watching us right now, to be placed here for such a time as this. And you haven't even begun to live. Until you come to a place in your life where you ask the one that put breath in you, why? When you come to a place where you say, why am I here? Or what do you want from me? That's where life begins. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh 
here for two years. That's when old man just lives in here. Drinks all night, pills all for the labor. Well, I sit back and watch him go as he lights him all up in a row. Side by side, the film all on his face. And he's memorized those words Printed on the side Cause God knows that man Has read those lines a thousand times Will he imagine What he'd know If the Bible was a Bible If the bottle was a Bible They just don't know how lost I feel about you
Minister, I've been caught up in way too many things that don't make it matter. Yeah, and 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 we started with a, a passion for, yeah. for the lost. Yep. Slowly over the years, you start oh, getting more concerned so about winning awards, yeah. about whatever whatever trappings of this world that that were literally meant and caused for us to be distracted by. Actually, people. I get more distracted by looking at other people. That's where I get distracted. Really, I'm not judging people. Yeah. Oh, that minister's not doing the right thing. That guy's a... You know, the way that I see it is if if you were... Did you play football in high school? Did you play? I don't know if you guys played football. Mm-hmm. But here's the, here's the thing. In football, if the greatest quarterbacks are the ones that can come up to the line and recognize what the enemy's trying to do. The faster that you're able to come up to the line and notice what defense or to them what they're going to use to attack you, the sooner you can recognize that, the sooner you can call an audible or play that is designed to be effective against that tool of the enemy. And I think that's what that's what the enemy wants you so distracted by the fans, by the noises, by the, the guy yelling at you at the front line, you know, just using the football vernacular stand with that. And he wants you so distracted that you don't notice what he's doing to come after you. Oh, wow. And, and, and the, the, the mature believer can come up and say, oh, I see you. I, I see what you're trying to do there. I see, I see the formation that you've got. I see that you're bringing in your, your, your back. You're, you're bringing in your safeties because you're going to bring a blitz. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a screenplay right here off to the right side because I, you ain't, you think you've got me. You think you've got something set up that cannot fail, but you don't realize I'm above that. I'm above. I'm I, come on, I'm man. I am an inside man. And I have the Holy Spirit yeah. in my ear that's saying, Uh-oh. call an audible. <laughs> go to the left. Don't go, you know, something like that. I think that is the, the, the thing that we have to understand is that we have an enemy. And the enemy's job is to distract us and to get our focus on what's wrong and lose our focus of what's right. And I, I just think that that's such a powerful perspective is that the coronavirus is not from God. I just want to say this profoundly to anybody listening. This is not sent to us by God. But God can will take this thing and turn it around for what the enemy meant to kill, seal, and destroy us. Jesus can bring it and bring life to us. And bring purpose and vision and direction and hope for a future. So... A merited favor of a holy God that causes us to be able to have grace in our life. You're such a good father, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. You're a holy, good God. We sing this to you, Father. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that brought a wretch like me. I was once lost, but
paypalme.com uh, we want to take care of this incredible family when Jesus was talking to the disciples he asked the disciples asked Jesus teach us to pray and when he taught him how to pray he said pray according or like this our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day you, our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed upon us. For thine is the kingdom and the glory and the Forever and ever and ever. Amen. And as I said that prayer, I remember the second part that my pastor said is that the disciples asked Jesus to teach us to pray. We can also ask him to teach us how to worship. And I'll say this the same thing that my pastor said tonight. Praise is never wasted time. But worry is. Good night. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. And thanks for being a part of what we're doing. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Bye.